everybody, this is Victor Moss. I'm right by my office here at 14 I 10, looking at this property as a potential lead. It is currently listed with a realtor, but it needs a lot of work, and I think they might be asking too much. There are two loans, the owner just wants it paid off. Let's go take a look inside. It is so dated. You have one floor, two floor, three floors, paneling, kitchen cabinetry is old, appliances are just old. I don't know if we're gonna do something with this property. So we're in the kitchen right now, and as you can tell, it is very, very dated. There's nothing salvageable here, plus this floor is terrible. I don't know if you can pan over to the right, there's also this old heater that needs to be removed. And if you look up, there are no air ducts. And so everything's window units. When I talked to the person who's dealing with this, they said that the um, rehab would only be about $15,000. In their dreams, this is more of a $45,000 rehab. Okay, so we just came back from the property. I wanna go over some numbers with you as you kind of learn this process. Some of the best deals you're gonna do are the ones you don't do, and that's okay, but you gotta keep, keep after it day after day after day if you want more deals. So Green Acres, I think it's worth 190,000 fixed up realistically. We buy at 70%, why? Because that 30% represents profit, holding costs, closing costs, taxes, insurance, maintenance, utilities, you name it. Things that I know the seller doesn't give a damn about, or the realtors or anybody, but we have to account for it. Next, I estimated a rehab of 45,000. That home needs everything, kitchens, bathroom, um, kitchen bathrooms, flooring, painting inside and out, possibly roof. 100% needs a new air conditioning system plus fur downs and, and new um, duct works and everything. Doors, windows, all that good stuff. Backyard is just a bit of a mess. And our job is to make it perfect so when we try to resell it, it's going to pass the appraisal, inspection, buyers are going to love it, all that good stuff. I basically came down as a max offer of $88,000, which they're asking one thirty-five. dollars Why? Because there's two loans on there and guess what the balance is? one thirty-five. dollars And that doesn't even include commissions for the agents or closing costs. So the only way this deal is going to work, the only option I could see is if you do a short sell. That's where we make it under contract with the seller. See if their lender is willing to accept a lesser amount to make this work, which I don't think is gonna happen because of private mortgage insurance, where the lenders are encouraged to foreclose, wipe everything off, and then file their insurance claim to get the difference of losses. This is Victor Moss, take care. We hope you enjoyed this video on how to decide if it's a deal or not. Please come to our next monthly meeting on owner financing and if you're interested, join us on our bus tour on May 18th at 8.30 a.m. Take care.